Hi everybody, this is Ifat from The Yoga Nest. It's good to be here today and I have a guest with me. Hi. Hello. Hi, my name is Donna. Most everybody knows me as Donna Dula. It is a role I play. I am a doula in the community. I also am a childbirth educator. And together with Ifat at The Yoga Nest, we have some wonderful childbirth classes that we would like to talk to you about today. So no matter where you're giving birth, most women go into it at least feeling like they want to experience the natural aspect right. of birth. Right. And again, that's everything that they have within themselves and just different ways to bring it out. So in our classes, we talk about those things, talking about communicating. That's the key, communicating with your partner, with your provider, with yourself, connecting to your baby, which is excellence in your yoga classes to accomplish and just really being a part of it, being in your birth and not just showing up at your birth with someone else managing um, it. You just mentioned that women wait for the last minute usually, right? right. Where right when they get, start to get nervous and stressed about, oh my God, what am I gonna do, right? So when do you think is a good time to start? Because I tell people 25 weeks and, and over. Do you agree? I do. Even a little bit sooner than 25 weeks is okay. And you can always re-explore a class or just be in contact with some good support, uh, especially if you hire a doula or something like that, to keep reminding you of the things that you've learned. Because again, it's so much information at one time, it, it takes time to absorb and to kind of practice the things that you're learning. And we do, we do things with the partner, um, such as massage techniques or different squeezes or different movements or what they can do with you when you're in labor. That's the second class. And that can be practice. Okay, so another question that people ask a lot is, who do I bring? Do you only bring your partner? So no, the classes are for you and whatever's making you feel most comfortable. So you can come alone. We, there are some moments in class that we are pairing up as partners, but you're, you may not be the only person alone. So sometimes we pair up mommies together. We also pair up with our mommies. Your partner is more than welcome to come. And if they're gonna be part of your experience, we definitely encourage that. You can bring a doula, you can bring your mother, you can bring a sister, your best friend, anyone that's gonna be part of your experience that's gonna be supporting you will definitely benefit from coming to the classes. I agree. And um, the other thing is that people ask me all the time is that, is it only for hospital birth or is it only for home birth? What do you cover? Do you cover everything? How do you cover everything? So that's actually <laughs> one of my favorite questions. For me personally, I believe that birth is birth. And so the way that you prepare for that is the same, no matter where you choose to give birth, they're the same, the th same things are involved in where you need to be. So that's the, those are, that's the information that we cover for those giving hospital birth that are inquiring about epidurals or cesareans or any interventions that a hospital offers that you don't necessarily get out of the hospital. We answer those questions. And so you come equipped with the information that you want to know and we are equipped to give you that information before you leave. Mm -hmm. Another question that I get a lot is, um, why should I take childbirth classes outside of the hospital? They offer it and some of them even offer it for free. So I personally tell them that the hospital will tell you what they're gonna do. So a lot of it is medical. Not just on a medical aspect, but they are definitely covering their own policies and procedures and that's the information they want to get out. Uh, the way that they run things and pretty much like expect these things to happen. But birth is not lined up, obviously. Um, and so what you're going to experience versus the policies and procedures are very, very, very different things. We prepare you more for going through the journey of labor and birth and meeting your baby. Okay, cool. So let's talk about that journey. The first class we cover end of pregnancy all the way leading to labor. So the basic information of what they need to know, how to recognize labor when it does start, but we don't actually go into labor yet, right? But Correct. For instance, give me an example of something we cover at the end of the pregnancy. What are some things that they need to know? So we do talk about good communication with your partner and with your provider. We also cover different things to help your body prepare for labor as well. So in labor, you're gonna be moving through and keeping yourself comfortable, but prior to labor, you should be moving your body and getting used to the aches and pains and discomforts that are gonna come at the end of your pregnancy. 
you're already going to experience if you're not already the lack of sleep and, and getting up to urinate a lot and and all of those different things they're normal and you know just how to how to be patient with them cool and um, the second class what do we do there so the second class is our most popular class because everybody wants to know what labor looks like and what labor sounds like, and that's what we cover. Uh, again, you're gonna have your own experience, but we are here to normalize that and to give you the confidence and hopefully empower you to you know, be in whatever place you need to be in order to get through your journey. Yes, so we cover um, everything that you can do and everything that you can have your partner or helper or doula do and then because we cover communication the first time, how you can communicate that with them. And during class too. So what's really cool in my opinion and why I think that women can actually take it in advance and instead of waiting even for a seven, eight or nine months, they can even do it before because there's a lot of things that you can practice. And a lot of, I feel like partners especially, I feel like they want to be told what they can do and then they want to practice it, right? Yes, absolutely. A lot of times partners just don't know their place. And the truth is their place is just to be present and be themselves and to give love. And so we normalize it for them as well. And also give them some tools if they want to be hands-on to help aid, you know, as far as being comfortable and rubbing and massage right. and, and some of those things that happen that you need. So communication with your partner as to what you need right? What do you expect of the partner, right? Do you feel like partners don't have a clue and they just need to be told? Because I say that a lot. Some partners are very hands-on and very involved regardless, and some of them are waiting for instruction or waiting to know, or, or they're a little bit hesitant to when to chime in or when to touch. Uh, the truth is, is that you're just there to support the same way, you know, you were there to create this life. You're, you're there to bring the life into, and you're also having a baby partners. So I, I think it's more of a collaboration between the two and just being comfortable, understanding the normals and, you know, the different ways that labor can look and sound and feel, being comfortable around those things. It's what's going to give you a more empowering birth. Right. I agree. And then people ask me a lot, what methods do you use? And I say the methods of <laughs> the experiences, right? The women, um, what they come back and tell us, what we see and experience during labor, my experiences in labor, birthing my children, um, the things that I studied, right? From, I don't know, hundreds of books, but no specific method because people sometimes ask, what about hypnobirthing? What about birthing from within? What about Childbirth International? What about, and on and on and on. What method do you feel like you're using? I think the method is your own method. Whatever individually you need to accomplish the, the, um, the journey of birth is what you're going to get from our classes. So we, we try to communicate a lot and to address different fears and different concerns without imposing our own thoughts or our own experiences. So um, there's a little bit of that there. And... You know, it's just loving you and giving you that, that extra confidence and support so you can feel like, like you can do this. It's all, it's all about that. It's all about trusting in birth and having the right support to make you feel comfortable. Right. I agree. The third class is all postpartum. Everybody's prepared, sorry. Everybody's preparing for the actual birth so much that they forget about what's coming after right uh, again very important so knowing what to expect when your baby comes out preparing for all those nice gooey things that you see that that get your hormones flowing for bonding skin to skin contact breastfeeding the that first everything uh, so we cover those and we also just cover some common things common concerns about breastfeeding and with your newborn baby how to care for them and what to expect from them in the first couple weeks of life and taking care of yourself and having the same kind of support you had in labor, you really do need postpartum, if not even more, and kind of building that up and giving, giving some information on, yeah. you know, different ways to ask people for yes. help. So that's, that's wonderful. I feel like we kind of covered almost everything. Of course, things change and you're always invited to ask questions. The classes are held at the Yoga Nest every Sunday. Every class is approximately two to sometimes two and, and a half, right? Three hours, depending on how many particip 
participants we have and how many questions you have. Feel free to go to the website and sign up for classes or give me a call, send an email, give Donna a call. We'll share the information on the bottom. And that's it. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Namaste.